is my D drive. The one that's turned red because it's almost full. Now, Hewlett Packard, I'm on a laptop, you know, a low-end laptop. It was so old and discounted when I bought it. It was a new computer. That when I bought it and brought it home and opened the box, the uh, warranty was already void because it was so old. Okay, so this is the computer I've got to work with. And that's all I've got. They promised that this recovery drive D would never fill, and you see that it is. And it's not because I've done anything stupid like, oh, loading downloaded programs and stuff onto it. It's just, I've been using it a really long time. There's been a lot of backups and system restores and so on. It is very dangerous to try to change this. In fact, when you click on recovery, you get a warning. I'm going to move the uh, bandy cam for a minute so you can see it. Uh, you get a warning that you're not supposed to change any of this because it could screw up your hard drive. Now, I have found a Hewlett Packard support page that shows what I can do about this. It's going to be very scary. I'm not looking forward to this at all uh, because it, you know, I'm vision impaired and stuff and I have issues with memory and I also panic under circumstances like this. Uh, that's for Windows Vista. I'm on Windows 7. Basically the same procedures. I'm trying to click down. My mouse goes funny when I have Benny come on. It flickers. Um, so I've got the instructions here about what to do and how to do it for, for Windows 7. And it's going to be really scary and I should back everything up onto disk. But of course, you know, with Windows I don't know if everything will back up to disk because the disks might not hold enough data and I don't have a uh, hard drive to put everything on. So I really don't know what else to do. But that's why my game's running bad and that's why I can't get anything done very well because of this malarkey. Um, everything's really slow. Everything is really slow. At first I thought maybe I had a virus or something, but I've been watching that D drive fill up this past year and it's been worrying me a great deal. Like I said, Hewlett Packard promised, oh, it'll clear itself out and as it does new updates and stuff, old data will be, uh, you know, like purged from the system or something. No, it's not happening. And it's not that my recycle bin is full. It's not that they haven't been doing defrags and all that stuff, uh, defragmenting my disks and cleaning out my system and getting rid of old temporary files. It's none of that. It's an old, outdated computer. Therefore, the uh, latest versions of uh, Minecraft are not working so well on my computer. In fact, they're barely working at all. You see, I even got it rid of Arrow, Arrows, whatever it's called, by going back to the most basic desktop I can, because apparently that turns Arrows off in um, Windows 7, and the Mojang website uh, suggested that that would be a very smart idea to get better at VS. I followed everybody's instructions. As you know, I do the trick with the task manager. Um, I I'm, I'm don't have the game on right now, but I'll just show it to you. The task manager always says that whatever, you go to the application, pretend that it says Minecraft in another thing, um, but I'll click on D drive because that's where I am. Uh, and then you go to process, and it'll be highlighted, you see. Now, if it was, if I had the game on, it would say Java, which I'm not going to try to look for because I'm vision impaired. And uh, you can right click on that, and you can set the priority. And I always set it to high before I play the game, especially when I'm recording. So I have dedicated more memory to the game, uh, to Java and whatnot. I've, um, I don't have any other applications running. I don't try to run TeamSpeak or Skype or my browser or anything. All I'm running is Freeware Bandicam. And let me see if I can turn Bandicam on while I'm doing this. Uh, turn on the thing while I'm doing this recording. Um, 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 where's the Bandicam? Oh, well, there it is. So Bandicam, I've got it set. My settings are this. Uh, I've got it set to 30 FPS at 240, what's that called? I can't remember. You know, you can have it up to high definition and so on and so forth. Mine's set as low as I can. 
the quality set at 80 stereo channels because, hey, it's Minecraft. You know, you got to know which direction things are coming from. If I'm doing anything wrong in the way I'm um, formatting my settings to record, please let me know. Uh, and here are my audio settings. Uh, so I think I'm doing everything the way you're supposed to. I don't know. Uh, in the meantime, I'm begging for help because my way out of poverty is Minecraft. I There are no jobs out here. I'm rural. I'm disabled. I'm stuck. I'm pretty good at Minecraft. But the game is getting so uh, graphics intensive that even Zoomavoid was complaining that his fans went on the other day when he had was playing in the latest snapshot on Hermitcraft and his fans don't go on while he's recording. So if I can't play Minecraft, I can't get out of poverty, and I can't earn money for better equipment so that I can get out of poverty. You see what I'm saying? So I need help. I need to know what I can do. Oh, I should probably show you what my computer is, too. Um, let's see. Computer. Is this right? Yep. I think so. Um, properties. Wait for it. So here is information about my computer. And you see, I don't have very much RAM. I've only got 3 gigs, well, 2.74 of usable RAM. But I did that little trick where you commit about half of your usable RAM to uh, running Minecraft when it's running. 64-bit operating system. Nothing fancy. I don't remember what my graphics card is. And I don't remember how to look for it. Device manager. Hold on. Hold on. Come on, device manager. Okay, device manager. Hold on, things are just getting stuck. Batteries, display, where is it? Display adapter, is that it? Is that what I want? Yeah, there it is. AMD M880G with ATI Mobility Radeon HD 4250. So I'm doing everything I know how to do to play this game. But I'm running out of options, and I'm really worried that I'm not going to be able to play anymore. Yes, my computer's named Weasel, after my dog. Yes, it is. So there. Uh, so I'm sure some hacker's going to figure out how to bust into my computer now, right? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so that's what I know, and I'm doing everything I can to uh, stay up with Minecraft. But I'm telling you what, it's getting to the point now where... All I want to do is just break down and cry because I can't play anymore. Please help me figure out what to do because I can't afford better equipment than this. I have a Patreon site if you'd like to donate toward me getting better equipment. I also have a PayPal account. They're listed in the description of this video. If you can help me, I would like to be able to restore my server and a website devoted to Minecraft with forums and stuff so that we can talk and chat and hang out together and build community together. Um, let me know. But this is what I'm working with. Thanks for your help in advance. Bye.